November 22 doesn't only mark the assassination of American President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, it's also perhaps a turning point in the short history of conspiracy theories, making what was a marginal phenomenon accessible and widespread to masses of people. People are fascinated so much with conspiracy theories because they think that without these terrible events like the John Kennedy assassination or the Robin assassination, history would have been totally different and much better. Conspiracy theories have frequently appeared from the 19th century until today and the roots can be found in ancient fairy tales. But the 20th century was the era in which they gained momentum, perhaps due to the spread of mass communication, the lack of trust in public in authorities and the chaos that the two world wars left behind them. It, it gives uh, to someone who looks into it a, a sort of a, sometimes a glimpse to something which might be termed as a behind the scenes or inner working of, uh, of what seems to be j just uh, uh, coincidences. Conspiracy theory buff seeks an alternative answer for every major event in history. First landing on the moon, the death of rock and roll idol Elvis Presley, and the existence of supposedly alien camp in Area 51 in Nevada are among the most popular stories spurring conspiracy theories. In the end, history does show us that there were conspiracies in the end. For example, one of the famous ones was the conspiracy to kill Julius Caesar. And these are things which are uh, being revealed uh, later and after uh, though the earth-shaking event happened. But above all stands the Kennedy assassination. Hundreds of books, movies, and lectures have been made about this unfortunate event, suggesting that Lee Harvey Oswald was not the only gunman and that bigger and darker forces were behind it. Fifty years later, JFK assassination is still a mystery for many, despite the Warren Commission that investigated the event and revealed hundreds of pages with evidence to the public. I have serious doubts that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Even leaders who have much more access to information than the common man believe in conspiracy regarding the JFK assassination. But the truth is that even for them, it is much more convenient to believe in conspiracy because if you believe that only one person did all that and pierced the security surrounding the president, then it becomes an even more dangerous world. In a world of free and accessible press and extensive social media, the conspiracy theory phenomenon is increasingly spreading. I think that there were a lot of groups who had interest in, in shooting Kennedy and they probably collaborated or tried to use each other. And so it's, it's kind of chaotic in the end. As if the world is not complicated enough, the conspiracy theories buffs are always trying to find a hidden agenda in every major event in history. Be that as it may, the truth is out there and it will come out eventually unless the Martian escape Area 51 and get to it first.